for this episode of the Weird Obscure World Podcast. I have been abducted. Wait, what? Their main forms they take are reptilian entities. All right, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Yeah, so we got some fun stuff to cover this week. Yeah. Gonna start it on a on a on a light note. <laughs> okay. On a we're gonna start it on a brown note. <laughs> a poop story? No. <laughs> so MSNBC is uh, interviewing um, Eric Swalwell, the the representative Eric Swalwell. Uh, I can't remember where he's from. Not that it matters. Okay. But, Story's obviously not about his uh his views or well political stance this actual story is not about it but his interview it's not about it let's play that so far the evidence is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the ukrainians to help him cheat an election and the complaint that i've heard from republicans <laughs> is that real <laughs> did he just shit on the impeachment hearings <laughs> <laughs> let's play that again okay which is this the, the, who's who eric swalwell's the guy on the right the younger guy yeah the younger guy he ripped it like he's 90 <laughs> he, he, like he couldn't squeeze it oh i can actually smell that through the computer <laughs> this can't be true I, so far i love the how evidence causes. is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the ukrainians to help him cheat an election and the complaint <laughs> that i've heard from republicans all last week was that you don't have anyone who heard the call okay where's his microphone located <laughs> Because that was either really, really loud and picked up by his lapel mic, or he's got his microphone placed in the wrong place. Or he's sitting in a leather chair. <laughs> no way. Uh -oh. that, that was amazing. That. The best part is he didn't even say excuse me or anything. He just kept... One more time. Right on point. This so far, the evidence... Is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. And the he complaint that I've heard from Republicans all last he purses his lips. Help him cheat an election. <laughs> this is the only interview I've ever I've seen yet so far about the impeachment. It's the only one that I would watch. Oh, uh, over I, and over I would watch this. Over seriously and over. Oh, that was just, uh, it was perfect. I like, I like the, I like the pause that he had in, with it. He kind of squeezes it, and then keeps talking. Yep. That's a good mic. We need to find out what kind of mics yeah. those are. Because What's well, MSNBC? You know, they're using the best. Yeah. Like that's, that's a good mic. Be picking oh, that up. That's too funny. I'm crying. <laughs> You know, if he would what if it's the correspondent and the correspondent took his mic he and paused. put it and put it by his butt and, and then put it Swalwell back. Swalwell <laughs> paused as he did it. I mean, you know, he paused to get that little bit of gumption underneath. You know, to to get a little bit of diaphragm press. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, and you can tell. You can tell. <laughs> Swalwell's on uh on my Kegel team. <laughs> the the vibratory nature. Oh, that was tight. That was, I mean, he wasn't. He wasn't. Why couldn't he hold it in if it's he, if it's so tight? He wasn't quite at the level I am trying to achieve, but you know he's working on it. <sighs> Man, I mean, if not, he wouldn't. No one would have heard it. Or yeah. if he was, you know, the you know master on the mountain who went squeak. <laughs> The master on the mountain you know but oh, anyways yeah that's oh hilarious. that's a good start for the beginning of the everything's well yep i've got a, i've got one more story this one's uh well i've actually got two more stories because you know if i see something i gotta share it let's hear it so um there's uh look at an, those glasses an ellington man 
is accused of running a sex dungeon. Now, how to look at him? Um, he's he. <sighs> He could spot the the target from a long <laughs> way off, though, and the back of his neck. I'll bet that thing is like flexed out. Target acquired six miles. Yeah, uh, if he accidentally looks. Okay, so this was a, um, this was a voluntary. Well, okay. sex dungeon. No. Oh. So uh, Ellington, Connecticut. He's accused of a. Uh, running a slave training business and uh he's been um arrested in connection with human trafficking so he's 47 year old simon hessler and it sounds like the police put a sting out saying hey we've got a 13 year old girl for sale and and in the back and forth he's saying that he buys you know um a lot of the problem on the border is some of those are sex traffic. Right. They're coming across not with their parents, but with, um, right. With, uh, mules. Yeah. Not coyotes that help the people across, right. but, uh, we'll call them, uh, rabid coyotes who kidnap the young girls and then sell them into sex, to, uh, sex trade. But yeah, he had a dungeon in his basement that, um, he would train them to be slaves. Yeah. I think I'm being trained to be a slave. He mentioned getting foster children from Mexico, which is. That's sad. And here's, here's one of his states. He does not leave visible bruises, but would train her as a slave. It, it's, it's heinous. I, my honest opinion. Um, can't we just shoot him in the head? That three blind mice looking mofo is going to enjoy jail. Yeah, yeah. His, his, those Coke bottle glasses. You know why he has to run a save? He's got birth control glasses on. He's got a stupid thing. Get ready to work. Ah. Uh, but yeah, so. Seriously. So. It was a sting operation, and they caught him. Yeah, Thank so goodness. they've Do had they a, know how many? How many? Do I don't know. I'm hoping they can run down if there's any slaves. It doesn't say on there, but I'm hoping that they can they can um, run down and see if there's any slaves um, that he can. Uh, well, yeah, like kind of get. Now there he is in normal glasses. Well, that's because his neck can't withhold the, <laughs> the birth controls yeah he can't see shit in that picture okay they want him to have 2020 vision in jail so they gave him glasses that are his right prescription that must have just been his uh his um lawyers put on real glasses you look creepy but yeah so crazy Glad they caught him. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that they can run down the uh, the douchebag award of the year goes to him. I'm hoping they can run down slaves and or the uh, <laughs> victims, find out where they are. Yeah, and uh, maybe return them to where they belong. Yes, get get them some help. Yeah, oh. that's, but yeah, that was earlier this month. The uh, the news story came out um, at the beginning of this month, and I've been watching it. And, I don't know. It it'll take forever. It, the court system is a slog, and uh, so it it takes a minute to uh, to get it through and find everything out. So I imagine sometime next year we'll find out, or we won't. It'll just happen, and yeah, quietly slip the, into the, the news. Abyss. The news would be better to serve us to. I, I think give that, us a follow up, you know, and uh, and give us a play by play of his prison rape. But I don't, I don't think that that they likely will because it does bring to light the humanitarian efforts that building a wall would help to stave off, and they don't want the wall. Well, but I mean, if we're talking about children be yeah. being brought across, um, you know, against their will or with the idea mm -hmm. of something else. I mean, having borders would stave that. There's, yeah, there's, I mean, first, my first, my first idea with that is um, if we, 
eliminate um, if we eliminate social assistance to illegal aliens, then that will make it so that the only thing that comes across the wall is either people running from a heinous situation, right. which then then I then, think apply then we, for asylum. Yeah, then then you know, and they'll they'll probably you know, it's it, we've got to hit it on all fronts. Yep, we've got to make it so that applying for asylum or trying to become a citizen is an easier step process. Green cards are easier to achieve. And then I think when we find people who will abduct, abduct children for financial incentive, I, um, I think immediate capital punishment. Yeah. No questions asked. Yeah, make it, make it a, a punishment. Yeah. So that, uh, it, I mean, it, it deters and, them. And, uh, they I mean, think twice. You know, can we write this into the Constitution? On, right. on certain instances, you don't get appeals. Now, kidnapping children for financial gain. Death. I, you know, murder in, in an instance of whatever, okay. But to sell children or to sell people right. for financial gain, to sell another human being into slavery for financial gain, that takes forethought and planning and no appeals, no nothing. Yep. I agree. And like Les mentioned in our last show, our jail well, systems. I think you mentioned it before the show, but yeah. Our jail systems need to be a punishment. Don't get him wrong. It, they suck. Yeah. But it wasn't a good time. He wants it to be more, but he's, he's got. But it could have been a hell of a lot worse. Yeah. He's, he, he went there and, and he's, but you know, it's, it's a. Uh, it's thing. So we got two more shows. Betsy brings some ghosts, and then I've got some more funny. Okay, so my story comes from Scotland, mm -hmm. and it's a thing of like a local legend. It's the Dover Inn in Loch Lomond, which is is north of Glas. I think it's Glasbury, um, kind of in central Scotland. Glasbury hangs on the bush of Glasgow. Yes, you pick him in the fall. Pick him in the fall. Um, this this is a this is a really old 18th century inn. Mm -hmm. It's one of the actual oldest pubs in Scotland. Mm. The the inn itself has can't understand what anything says. <laughs> in there. Imagine an old <laughs> Scottish ghost. Forget you it. Can't, you like can't I'm going to need a translator. You can't understand Scottish now. No. Imagine get him closer to Gaelic or whatever they spoke back then. Forget it. You sit there and drool while you listen to them. <laughs> so this particular inn was used for Highland cattle mer merchants who would drive their cattle down this side of the lock to the markets in the lowlands so they would stay there. Additionally, much of the decor and furniture have remained the same. And they believe that that's why this story is happening. It's believed that the old inhabitants of this inn never really left. And there's guests in one room who regularly claim to be disturbed and even pinched in the night. Oh. Now, the headline reads... The ghost. I, I saw a ghost. you got to get a lot of uh, emotions to get a pinch out <laughs> <laughs> but that subway ghost, he could like kick a can across the. He'd been practicing, platform. yeah. Drink. Here's the here's the headline: Drinkers terrorized by sex mad ghosts at haunted three year old sex mad Brit <laughs> pub. Yeah, so I was like, sex mad. Well, here's how it reads: There's self opening doors, sinister laughter, mysterious bruises. Ooh. Moving objects. Okay, so all this can be attributed to drunk. Orbs and unexplained sexual bumping. In the all night. of this can be explained <laughs> to drunk. Listen. Stuff moves. You go to sit down where there ain't a chair, and then well, there was a chair there a minute ago. Doors. I don't remember opening that. Bruises. You bump into everything. The ghostly bumping sounds are so loud, visitors mistake them often for people having sex. Now, 
Are you sure? Their uh, social uh, media mistake. manager, Yvonne McStravick, says. One more time. Yvonne McStravick. McStravick? McStravick. I wonder if that's uh, like Polish or if that's. A- it's, I don't know. I don't know. She's 38 years old and she's their venue's social media manager. Mm-hmm. Um, she says it's a really scary place. She says she has slept in the haunted room and didn't sleep at all the whole night. Um, the but, ghosts were pinching her. Yeah. And rubbing their ghostly junk up against her. But she said. I wonder if it's male ghosts or female ghosts. I don't know. She said she slept in the jacuzzi room. And she said, strangely, I slept really soundly They've in there. They've got a jacuzzi in the bar. It's a. It's not just a pub. It's a, an inn. It's called the Dover Inn. Oh, okay. It just happens to have a pub. Oh. She said she slept really soundly, but in the morning she woke up and was covered in bruises. Now, the funniest story has to be when a customer complained about hearing ghosts in the room next door getting it on for several hours. Like, he called down they to got complain. The, the ghost Viagra going. She's, this, this customer said the rhythmic bangs were so bad <laughs> that they had to call down throughout the night. Why don't they just put a pillow behind the headboard? 10 or 12 times to try and get some sleep. But this is good news, folks. When um, when you do pass on, there's still sex. But there you go. All right. We got some sounds of it. You yeah. Ready? Well, this isn't the sounds of the sex. This is the sounds, the strange sounds that we're about to show you that's in the pub. So you'll hear humming at first, but then there's this rhythmic sound that can't they say can't be explained. All right. So this you're listening to is just kind of the hum. Okay. Sounds like a furnace. You can see the decor, and then you'll see one of the, that. Do you hear that? The Mm -hmm. thumping? That's what's happening in the rooms. Teak, Mm. teak, teak, teak. That rhythmic, love-making sound is happening throughout the Dover Inn. Oh. So... You don't need Viagra That's, after death, apparently. You go all night. Go Viagra. <laughs> Gonna market it. Mm. You can take it with you when you go. <laughs> so we got some Germany's Got Talent. <sighs> Germany's Got Talent. This lady has um, an extreme talent. Okay. And uh, I'm not gonna just talk about it. We'll just go on and show you. Okay. Okay, so she's for those of you who are listening and not seeing she's, she's got her, her pants down under her bum and she's got a dog face painted on it. <gasps> and then she's she, got her pants down. She starts she underneath pulls, her rear end and she's got a dog's face painted on her ass painted on her ass and then she's got a string of link hot dogs all linked together uh, that the video stops just short of her feeding them into the dog uh, lady <laughs> the video i watched showed it more like she's out barking at him and and everything else <laughs> how do you even okay how much alcohol did it take for you to try this the first time? Oh, that's amazing. And who thinks to do that? That is amazing. <laughs> oh, make it stop. Uh, All right, what's the show today? All right, so I'm going to be surprised. We're back into MK Ultra, but this is one of their other sub projects. Okay. MK Often. MK Often? Yep. Okay. Sometimes it was called like a, a MK mm, Chica something. It had different names, but MK often was the one they most commonly used. Okay, so you've read 
I read that MK Ultra had 150 sub projects, all looking into that uh, making of a Manchurian candidate and right. um, mind control, you know, everything they wanted. And uh, so in 73, Dick Helms, Richard Helms, the head of the CIA, who prior to that, when MK Ultra was started, he was like the, the head of ninja ops or whatever at the CIA. So he kind of had a hand in starting it. But in 73, he, he ordered the, all the files destroyed. Can you imagine if you get to the end of your life and you can't tell anybody about your life? And you're looking back saying, burn it all, burn yeah. it, burn it. Yeah. But um, I think he knew that if it got exposed, it would put the CIA in jeopardy. And then in 75, the church uh, and Pike Commission hearings brought some up to the fore, and they found some of those, uh, it's kind of a recap, but they brought some of those files that didn't get destroyed that were like hidden in a financial office. It was, you know, receipts of travel, things like that. Okay. So MK Often, why that name? I don't think that a name meant anything. I think they just kind of, we need to know. Just picked a word? Yeah. They had artichoke. They had, <laughs> yeah, MK artichoke. MK asparagus. But this one. MK <laughs> eggplant. No, they had artichoke. They couldn't do a, asparagus. That's two A's. Okay, go ahead. All right. So uh, Gordon Thomas, he, he wrote a book, I think it was called The CIA Family Jewels or something, Secrets of the Family. I can't remember. I need to uh, dig that book up and read it. But uh, he talked about Cindy Gottlieb, who was kind of the hands-on director. They called him like the black sorcerer. Uh-huh. Um, Gottlieb's kind of a crazy person. Well, maybe not a crazy person. Just from this stuff, he looks like a crazy person. and so often didn't go so much in the drug testing to make a Manchurian candidate like um, Ultra, Ultra did. did. Uh -huh. This one went into uh, black magic. Like they were like searching for or testing? Testing, hiring practitioners. We'll go through. Of black magic? Of black magic. What were they paying? Well, I don't know. <laughs> they had three astrologers on the payroll. Okay. They had two Chinese-American palmists on the payroll. Okay. Um, they opened up uh, the Scientific Engineering Institute at South Carolina. Opened up a research lab into black magic. So I guess that's like on the Ghostbusters where they're reading those cards in the beginning. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like they were seriously spending money? Mm-hmm. You had Dr. Orn. We talked about him. He was that, uh, that psychotherapist who did the hypnotic therapy. Okay. And he did uh, um, a couple of uh, extreme cases like that lady that was – what was her name? Hirsch, uh, Holly Hirsch, something Hirsch. Anyways, um, he, he's the psychotherapist for her, for court. Patty Hirsch, uh -huh. the one who was with the Sudanese liberation army. Right. Right. Um, he was a part of it. He got paid. Now he said, Oh, I just used the money for my own things. You know, I didn't do anything with it, but maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Um, they, okay. They called it, Project um, Chickwit. What? That's not even a word. It's a C, though. They needed a C in there. Well, couldn't they do, like, I don't know. They project, did often in Ultra. I mean. <laughs> project, I don't know. Cantaloupe. Califragilistic expialidocious. I mean. It's too hard to spell. You can. It will Chickwit. Misspell it. But, yeah, the <laughs> South Carolina, that college a uh, lab went into witchcraft, demonology, and voodoo. Okay. Okay. All right. So they were, they created a lab. Did they have like Harry Potter figures in there with wands? <laughs> you go in, you got to put on one in school uniforms. Yeah. Like, you got the special color. <laughs> I um, mean, how do you test this? 
Do you curse people? Like I curse you to trip and fall and they, then watch. They might do. They, I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, is this, it could is have been like a whole a, thing. They could have had the wood shop in building the wands and then you go in and, and the dance class is teaching you how to, or the music class teach you how to conduct, you know, the whole thing. But the, now this one, uh, MK Ultra, we have lots of information on that. That's kind of verified. This one we don't, but. Well, MK Ultra kind of got busted when they didn't destroy and when all that, of the information when that, that army they intended doctor, to. Yes. That army doctor died. But this was under MK Ultra. Because oh. remember, Artichoke was that one where they did the brain testing on animals and humans. Right. This is the one where they tried black magic testing. <laughs> on animals too? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if on animals, maybe. Oh, gosh. Now, there. This is the one. There's been a conspiracy theory out for a while that the CIA had a hand in in starting some cults. Jonestown is one of them, and there's lots now, of I connections. Have, I have heard that. What are the connections that? Well, I'm. Uh, we're not going. I think that I want to save the connections for when we do the Jonestown show because okay. that's the, the Jonestown. Because that's a big part of it. Shows. But you also have the Temple of Set. Okay. And that's that Michael Aquino, that right. Army Colonel. Yes. That was from the Presidio. Oust, he was yeah, he was ousted during the um the uh Ouija board. During um, during the satanic panic. Yeah, the satanic panic. Okay. Now could he because this was not just CIA, CIA and DOD. So they were trying to use maybe black was, magic with the Department of Defense? Yes, Department of Defense was equally involved with everything the CIA was doing. Now, do you think maybe he comes out of this project? Because he's mentioned in a lot of their books, in a lot of the books about this stuff. You have um, the, uh, the processed, uh, what is it, process Church of the Final Judgment? Uh-huh. And those guys uh, started uh, an animal sanctuary in southern Utah. I drive past it every time I go down to visit our brother. Right. It's a big animal sanctuary. Now, I've seen the animal sanctuary. I didn't know that they were part of that. Mm-hmm. That's where we went do they, to do they after use, the process collapsed. That's what they started up. Do they use black magic on the animals? On the dogs? Yeah. I will red rocket you into the cage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That was just the lady kind of went into that after it collapsed. You've also got the finders. I don't know much about the finders. The finders is, as we talked about earlier in the show, that guy with the Coke bottle glasses. Uh -huh. The finders is reportedly a, a CIA operation to kidnap people for to sell into slavery what would be the point of selling people into slavery i don't know but it brings epstein to mind sure sure the, just for the personal use of people in high power well uh, not just that but blackmail okay all right. Which honestly, with with Epstein, I think most of it. I mean, but he you was, don't need to kidnap people to get blackmail. I, I mean, think, all you have if you build it, they will come. Oh well, yeah, but I guess if you're trying to blackmail them with children, you would need to kidnap. But I mean, all the adults, hookers, please put an ad out; well, they'll just flock. If 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 the senator gets caught with a prostitute, no yeah. big deal. Yeah, that's true. You get true. a video of him. With an underage. Recorded with an underage. True, true. And then every time he needs to vote your way, you say, hey, remember, I, I've got I, that viewing I have room. this. Now, I don't understand why the CIA, well, okay, so I guess I do see the connection why the CIA would want to, to have some It leverage. sounds to me like the CIA started with something that like, oh, we've we've heard the Russians are doing this, so we've got to do it too. Now, are we and talking they like they the mind control? The mind control. Remember, they had those brothels in San uh -huh, Francisco. That was part of Ultra. 
And let's say if anyone that went into one of those brothels was maybe someone of power or wealth, they recorded them. And then they would say, hey, look, you know, we want you to do this for us. Look at this recording I have. So they were they were investigating black magic as a way to to branch into making a mentoring candidate to to create mind control to create assassins was it sounds like the original idea using black magic like were they killing chickens with voodoo i don't know there was a voodoo section <laughs> you could hear the balking from <laughs> three floors away the <laughs> night time is the right time <laughs> yeah it's it's uh there's a lot to read about it. You know, MK Ultra played with barbiturates, amphetamines, mescaline, right, psilocybin, right. scopolamine. Theirs, theirs was all about toxicology. Mm -hmm. So MK often was more about um, the unknown yeah, dark arts. Yeah, they were trying, and and I've read that they were trying to bring people back from the dead. They were trying to make zombies like voodoo zombies. They did, were. Do you know if they, to, did they ever try any like the power of Christ compels you? They tried to get a priest. They tried to get the uh, the archdiocese of New York had a second in command that was over exorcisms in Eastern United States. They tried getting him on board. I've he read reports that he jumped on, and I've read reports that he said no. I guess it depends on which publicist is telling you. Yeah. See, because if you're going to go dark arts, you need to go with the light arts too. Like, like the prayer circles. Can they make you a Manchurian candidate? Well, you know, they, they also, they had like another, like Project Artich Artichoke tried the brain injury side of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The actual Remember physical, that? the physical injury. They tried the brain. brain injury. They tried chemical they tried microwave under project something else. They yeah. tried microwaving people's heads. And now, electric remember, shock to the remember brain. Remember Cuba got busted? God, what was it? I think it was in the 90s. There was a deal in Cuba at the embassy. No, it was, it was in the 2000s. Right after, I think, Obama opened it up, there was suspicion of microwaving in the U.S. embassy in Cuba. I, it wouldn't surprise me. So, I don't know, but they tried a whole bunch of stuff, but often went into the esoteric. Okay, so often I think is the least, I understand it's a little hokey, but I think it's the least damaging because, you know. Unless that stuff's real. Okay, fine. What if you get cursed? Yeah, what if you get a voodoo curse? I, yeah. I don't know. I think it's still better than having chemicals poured into a hole they've drilled in the top of your head. Or well, yeah, that one. That's some of that stuff's rough. But yeah, they they went into witchcraft, the occult. Now they also think. Now on a lot of my research of this, it tied back to that movie uh, Eyes Wide Shut. Okay. Because that was an occult right thing made by old. Uh, uh, the moon landing guy. Oh, why am I forgetting his name? Anyway, so they had a, 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 you know, palm readers and all that, but they had a sorceress from Houston named Sybil Leak that uh, would do uh, different tests for them. The You've got the men who stare at goats. That falls under this. Okay. They actually. I want you to do a deep synopsis on the men who stare at goats <laughs> well there's a guy named pat price okay if i remember shooting off the top of the head he was a sheriff there in california and he had a natural affinity for that stuff for staring at goats for um he could see uh they did some tests so he looked into a sub pen in russia and kind of scribbled it out. And so then they flew the plane over, the YouTube plane. Okay. And took pictures of it. And he drew it out like, and it was the top secret sub pen, Russian sub pen. Oh, okay. And that's the men that stare at goats. He was a, he was a sheriff too. He was a stand up, you know, not a deputy sheriff either, a sheriff sheriff. So they don't actually stare at goats? Um, well, the staring at goats comes through. That's how they achieve 
uh, concentration. By staring at goats. I guess. I don't know. Goats have magic eyes. Have you ever seen their weird eyeballs? <laughs> No, I've never They're st- irises. I've never stared at a goat. Their irises are long and thin, but in the middle have a big part. Really weird. Goat's iris. Men who stare at goats. Yes. So Okay, so you stare at a goat for concentration, and then you're able to visually project things that are not near you. Well, I think you project your conscience to that area. Through by way of staring at goats. Yes, and they also called that uh, also mixed in with Project Stargate. How did we find out that if we stare at a goat, this happens? You just someone stared at a goat once. I'm sure, <laughs> and they were like, "You're never going to believe what happened when I stared at my goat." Uh, uh, men who stare at goats is the funniest one. I I still kind of like the cats that were implanted. <laughs> Sonic Kitty. Yeah, Operation Sonic Kitty. <laughs> they let it go and it had to cross the street and got run over. <sighs> this isn't working, people. <laughs> <laughs> but they think they started the Temple of Set. They think they started, of course, you know, we mentioned um, the Finders, what? the well, family. The family was kind of a, a sex oriented Christian religion in California. Right? Yep, yep. And Not they kind did of. They of, did. They did that. Uh, what was it? Flirty fishing. Yeah. yeah. Bounce your kabout round. Mm. Um, they, uh, you know, so they're tied in with a lot of these kind of. I mean, 60s, that is that is a level of mind control. Eighties religions that come out. I mean, that that's a huge level of mind control in a lot of these cult religions. And some of them are. I mean, you've got the the Temple of Satan or whatever got the temple of set which are both kind of satanic worshiping religions dark or not dark depending on you know how you read it well just because they worship satan doesn't mean that they're evil right it just means they worship evil i guess i don't know they, well they claim that satan is not evil yeah um, he's just self-serving yeah it, it, it's it's insane when I started following this down the rabbit hole and I want to do shows on, I want to do shows on all these churches. I, the family, I mean, that was just a creepy Peter file, whether it was CIA tight or not, he was still a creepy Peter file. Um, the, uh, the process church of the final judgments, interesting to me. And a lot of them tie back in to Scientology. Really? Yep. Like officially, yep. To Ron L. Hubbard, the, the leaders of the process started out. They met and started their uh, dalliances in Scientology. You know, there was a there was a point in Hubbard's career where he, you know, actually told his wife, "Listen, the only way I'm going to make money is if I build a religion." Duh. I mean, so I guess it's not a it's not a leap for his followers to be hello, like, yeah, Kanye. the only way I'm going to make money is if I build a religion. Kanye, how are you doing today? Yeah, Kanye, what's his religion going to be? Uh, it's a Christian. It's a yeah, you know, kind of. It seems it must be like a Pentecostal thing because it's loud, boisterous, and fun. <laughs> Dancing and yeah, praise Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on there either. Um, Um, Do you think he's got ties with the CIA? Because I'm wondering if we're talking past tense or if this is still happening. I would think not. Well, uh, we're going to do a show on the music industry. I have assigned Mm -hmm. that to you to do a deep dive. There's a couple of books. Now, the music industry has been tied with alien theory, particularly the reptilian alien theory, Mm -hmm. um, with the idea that they have high levels of influence and so are likely oh, I would think the CIA is reptilian. Yeah. And are likely reptilian in nature um, so that they can have, you well, know, high levels of influence. Here's a jump. Are you ready for this jump? Okay. So let's say that the CIA and the FBI don't like Trump. They've been gunning right. for him from from the get. Literally, the the exact if, hour he was elected. What if that's because 
he's the only reptilian that or he's the only one that's not a reptilian yeah what if all the rest of them have those reptilian ties and they're our leaders and he what if he's in. a nordic no he wouldn't be a nordic those are handsome well no but was he ever handsome i would think he, i don't know he said in one show he looked like someone said he looked like elvis i would think he would be more like remember on men in black <laughs> yeah that's the, our uh, that's our uh, people the, we're getting all of our information from that show the robot alien yeah, where they had <laughs> the, the little, little alien guys. inside of it. <laughs> That's true. That's what he is. But <laughs> but he's been low on maintenance lately because he's got <laughs> endless energy. The guy sleeps like five hours a night and just goes. Twitter, he's probably got a screen inside of there with Twitter. The little alien's got a little alien keyboard. Uh -huh. And he just goes, but some of the cosmetic maintenance has fallen. So they keep covering it with the rattle can orange. And that would explain why he's not good with public speaking because the alien clearly has no... But I think he's great with public speaking because he speaks directly to you. It's off the cuff. None of it's... That's the, I think that's why he's bad because it's off the cuff. No, I think that's great because I well, want he's that... Can I'm, he's candor, sure. I'm tired of a president that's up there that if you ask him a question that he it's doesn't have a prepared answer... Yeah. No, I, he goes I, past it. I get that, but I think it gets him into trouble. Yeah, I, I don't care. I think, um, I think that interpretation happens on so many levels, and perhaps he wouldn't come across the way he does if he had someone who was helping him to soften his opinion a little. Like if the alien got the alien wife in there to say, don't say that. Yeah. If Hit the him alien, with the newspaper. Yeah, like so, use this word so instead of it. this word. We've solved it. They don't like Trump because he's not a reptile. He's of a different species that drives a biological uh, machine around. It's got to be it. That's it. And now, what has the galaxy, though? Uh, I don't know. The galaxy necklace. Trump doesn't have a dog. No. I wonder if it stayed on Obama's dog. Why would they trust it to Obama's dog? It rides around on a cat most of the time, and I don't know if presidents have cats. Interesting. They might. I don't know. But yeah, but that's that's crazy. I, I want to dig in more into these religions. They start of the 60s. How long did MK often go? Do, do I mean, purportedly, well, we, because we don't know for sure, or maybe it's still going. We know that, that it was 53 when... Uh, when ultra kind of came into being and i'm thinking they just someone Probably. popped into the office to dick helm's office says hey what about this yeah like like the night before he watched bewitched <laughs> kicked in the door <laughs> then the next guy come in i wonder if there was like a, a water cooler bet oh, i'll bet you can't get him to look into uh black magic voodoo can you imagine like, where did they, did they fly to South Africa and pick up a voodoo? And, oh, voodoo's prevalent. Like, it's kidnapper. Prevalent. You've got voodoo, Santeria, hoodoo. That's all. Miami is full of it. New York. But were they then? New York is full of it. Yeah, anywhere where you bring in, uh, you know, bring in people from other the Caribbean nationalities. And, right, right. I know uh, it's really big down in uh, Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just Miami South. Yeah. Uh, Miami, I guess, is full of it. Voodoo practitioners. Yeah, but they tried everything. Black magic. They probably had some guy go in there and say, I wonder if we can get Thor they have a side. They have a Ouija board class. <laughs> we need to take that class. Uh, we do. Our Ouija board. We're really bad at this. Test was lame. Yeah. Well, He's, he so far hasn't. Oh, he messed with us a little bit at startup at this, but he's lazy. I know. He burned all his energy. <laughs> that's all that's all I got. Burned it out. Cardboard. -o. <laughs> Cardboard. -o. Oh. We gotta hang up our Ouija board in here. Yeah. I, I wanna to build a frame for it. And keep the planchette on it against the rules. Ooh. You're not supposed to leave the planchette. Why do you have to do that at my house? On the board unattended. Maybe we should just do that, leave it right in the middle of the table. Mm -hmm. 
leave the planchette there and maybe it'll start doing its thing while just we just do podcast. a full recording and see if it moves. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, there's a there's a hotel room which is totally off topic, but we could do that here. There's a hotel room in Japan that you can rent for a dollar a night. The catch is you are under twenty four hour twenty four hour surveillance that is shown on YouTube twenty four hours a day. Live. Yeah, yeah, I've watched it. It's, so if you're just gonna go in there, it's and- super boring. But what if we did a live of Cardboardo? Card- Facebook Live. 24 hours a day. Now, the reason our Ouija board is called Cardboardo is because I bought this Ouija board on uh, eBay or Amazon, Amazon, or, whatever. Mm-hmm. And it was an official Ouija board from, was it Hasbro or something? Hasbro. Some. It's made of cardboard with a sticker on it. And the planchette is made of plastic. It's cheap. Yes. You get what you pay for. Yes. You even get cheap I think it ghosts. was like a $20. It wasn't even worth $20, yeah. but I paid for it. Yeah, it was cheap. But yeah. Anyways, uh, I think that's the show. MK Often. Yeah, MK Often. Betsy's going to dive into the music. I, It's a big one. The music one's a big one, and I think it'll take her a while to get through that. So that'll come out in about a month. Yeah, I'm going to, me and Kanye, we're going to talk. This this goes back into the sixties when you start diving into it. Me and Elvis. You know, we're gonna talk. You know, like maybe Courtney Love. There's reports that she was a hit woman for the CIA. Really? She did some foreign service and her father did some foreign service. So she's clearly a reptilian. Yeah. But Trump, Trump isn't a reptilian. That's why they don't like him. That's why it's gotta be they it. went after him. Before they went after him from the word go, the second he threw his hat in, they went after him. They went after him. And And do you know that they were talking about impeachment the night the night he was elected? The night he won. Yes. It's the reptilians versus the not reptilians. The reptilians have to be in command. Now, yes, the reptilians are benefactors. They do like to eat, you know, babies covered in gold, and they do like to have sex with, you know, little teeny girls. And probably teeny boys, but I think Epstein was a reptilian. Oh, hands down, hands down. I mean, but we found a loophole. You can choke a reptilian to death with toilet paper. Now we know that's the weapon. Carry a roll of toilet paper on you. That's how Epstein did it. Yep. He, All you need. He 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 killed himself with toilet paper. Auto erotic toilet paper <laughs> asphyxiation. <laughs> Auto TP asphyxiation. Yes. But yeah, uh, we do need to do a follow up on Epstein soon too. Yeah, got lots of shows in the work. It I looks wanna... like the one guard is is uh, singing like a canary. Good. Hopefully, he's saying, "Listen, man, two people showed up. They told us to step out. We did." Yeah. Or hey, they paid me. Yeah. Or hey, check out my they, bank account. Yeah. You think I make a million dollars yep. a year? How do you like this brand new Corvette? Yeah. Yeah. That's how it goes. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah. Stay away from the uh, from the practitioners of the dark arts. and Or become one and get paid by the CAA. It's Ooh, up yeah. to you. And if you're going to join a crazy religion anyway, just start your own. And listen, if, if the CIA is listening, I could use some extra cash. I'm, I'm a little, I've got a little experience with a Ouija board. Um, and I'm, I'm willing to learn. Put that on your next resume. (laughs) I'm going to. (laughs) Like Ouija board, looking into the occult and aliens. Like Microsoft Word, Excel, Ouija board. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Have a great week. Mm, Have a great week.